Kraft Foods Company, makers of Kraft Quality Foods, presents Harold Perry as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the wonderful new Kraft Deluxe Cheese Slices everybody's talking about. Have you discovered this marvelous new way to buy cheese in slices? Kraft Deluxe Slices are different from any sliced cheese you've ever had in your life before. They're perfect slices, cut, wrapped, and sealed by Kraft. A little later on, I'll tell you all about the amazing new Kraft Deluxe Cheese Slices. <laughs> Well, the lights are beginning to twinkle silently in Summerfield. The quiet of eventide has settled over the great Gildersleeve's household. In fact, the water commissioner has just had a quiet shave. Oh, singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a wonderful feeling. I'm happy again. Hmm. Well, perhaps it's more quiet in Leroy's room. so quiet there either. Let's try Birdie. Well, it's can night again. Bombs away! <laughs> well, let's try the parlor. It must be quiet somewhere in the house. Just think, Marge. In two weeks, we'll be man and wife. Oh, Bronco, isn't it wonderful? <sighs> yeah. Today I got our reservations at Honeysuckle Lodge. Did you get the bridal suite? Did I? I got the bridal suite for the sweetest bride. Oh, Bronco, you say the nicest things. Yeah, that's a funny thing, Marge. Until I met you, I could never say things like that. Oh, now, Bronco. No, I mean it. I used to be practically tongue-tied. But now I come out with some real gems. <laughs> well, good evening, children. Hello, Anki. Oh, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Stepping out tonight? Oh, no, I'm just going to the Jolly Boys meeting. What are you kids up to? I'm taking my honey to Honeysuckle Lodge. What? Another gem, Marge. <laughs> oh, Bronco. Oh, brother. <laughs> Unky, Bronco and I have reservations at Honeysuckle Lodge. You have? Bridal suite, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a wonderful honeymoon, Anki. We want to spend some time at Lake Cherokee. Yeah, and Marge, I think we should take in Stone Quarry Falls. And as long as we're that far, why not go on to Summit View? Oh, could we, Bronco? Oh, why not? And then we could drop on down into Wolf Creek Valley. This doesn't sound like a honeymoon. It sounds like the Lewis and Clark expedition. <laughs> Anki's right. We couldn't possibly go to all these places in a week, Bronco. No, we couldn't afford it either. Unless we took a house trailer. Oh, fine. We spent our money for a house trailer. We couldn't afford to take it anywhere. Well, uh, instead of going to Lake Cherokee, you could park it up by the Summerfield Reservoir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Anki. Marge, maybe we'd better shorten the itinerary. Yeah. If you're like most honeymooners, I guess you won't remember much of the scenery anyway. <laughs> well, no matter what else we have to give up, I'm going to Lake Cherokee. I want to wear my new bathing suit. Oh, yes, the luminous pink job. Marge, if we can go to Lake Cherokee, we can go to Summit View. I've always wanted to see four states at once. Well, I'm going to Cherokee. Well, I'm going to Summit View. Well, I'm going to the Jolly Boys. <laughs> yeah. Guess I'm not late for the meeting. It looks like the friendly neighborhood druggist crossing the street. Hello, PV. Well, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. <laughs> what can I do for you this evening? Yeah, but PV, you're closed. Well, if your purchase is big enough, I'll go back and open up. Uh, no thanks, PV. You're not going to get any of my money tonight. Yeah, I can wait. This, uh... <clears throat> well, there's the judge. Bonsoir, monsieur. Good evening, Jack. Hello, Horace. Thanks for holding the door open. Not at all. Entrez-vous, monsieur. 
<laughs> Sounds as though the judge ate a French dinner tonight. <laughs> Matter of fact, I did. Somebody has to give a little tone to this club. <laughs> you know, you've made us quite distinguished, Horace. Thank you, Gilda. We're the only club in town without, with a French goat. <laughs> now, Gilda. Well, Chief and Floyd are here. Uh, hi, fellas. Hi. Hello, Hello, Floyd. Commissioner. Hey, Commish, the Chief and I got a great idea. Oh? Commissioner, how'd you like to have the Jolly Boy singing... Oh, promise me at your niece's wedding. My, my. Well, uh, thanks, Chief, but we're having a soloist. Well, what's wrong with four soloists singing together? Yeah, well, uh... Yeah, and me at the organ. It, that did it. <clears throat> Sorry, Floyd, but all the arrangements have been made. Well, if we can't sing at the wedding, Commissioner, how about singing at the reception? Well, I plan to have Irving Hotstetter and his Hepcats playing in the parlor. But I could save a little money there. That's a capital idea, Gildy. Let's rehearse something appropriate. Well, they'll be leaving on a trip. We could sing Coming Around the Mountain. Yep. <laughs> Healy, that'll never do. It should be something about a honeymoon. A joyful number for a joyful occasion. Oh, look who's talking about honeymoons. He ain't never been on one. <laughs> Floyd, he's touchy about it. The only song we know with honeymoon in it is... By the light of the silvery moon. Yes, in fact, that's one of the few songs we know. Yeah, well, let's try that then, huh? Hit it, Floyd. Uh, coming up, Kamish. By the light of the silvery moon. I've been meaning to bring this up before the group. What can we jolly boys give Marjorie and Bronco for a wedding present? Um, wedding present? You mean our singing ain't enough? Yeah. Oh, no, Floyd. Gentlemen, I think the jolly boys would be remiss if we didn't make a suitable presentation to the niece of one of our most beloved members. Judge, you touch me. Looks to me like we're all going to get touched. <laughs> Floyd, yes. Give us a little hint, Gildy. What do they want? Well, uh... The little family is buying the children silverware, and uh, Aunt Hattie sending them an electric blanket. <laughs> well, I, well, I imagine a young couple just starting out can use almost anything. Yeah, when me and Lovey got back off our honeymoon, we was flat. Say, that reminds me, fellas. Marjorie and Bronco want to go to a lot of places they can't afford. Oh. Just this evening, they were wishing they had a house trailer. Oh, them house trailers cost a lot of dough. Yeah, but we could rent one, fellas. I'll bet Sam, the trailer man, would rent us one cheap. Somehow, a rented trailer doesn't sound like something Emily Post would recommend as a wedding gift. Well, she doesn't have to know about it. <laughs> I think it's the very thing, fellas. Believe me, there's nothing they'll appreciate more. All in favor, say aye. 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 I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Neither do I. Yes, yeah. Age before beauty, Judge. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> nice of the Jolly Boys to kick in five dollars a piece, wasn't it, Horace? Most generous. Is this Sam's place, Gilda? Yeah. See that sign, Judge? Sam Horn, we blow about our trailers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Floyd and Peavy weren't very enthusiastic about the trailer idea. Well, it happens to be exactly what Marjorie and Bronco want, Judge. Gilda, these look pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I doubt if we can rent one for our $25. Now, Judge, you leave everything to me. Anytime the water commissioner can't outsmart a used trailer dealer, I'll toss in the sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Say, this one looks nice. It does, doesn't it? Look, Gildy. Shower, stove, refrigerator. Cute. Good morning. Yeah. Oh, good morning. 
Are you Mr. Horn? <laughs> well, I'm Sam to my customers. Well, we could be customers if we get the right deal. <laughs> How much does this one rent for, Mr. Horn? It's a beauty. Uh, Judge, let me handle this, will you? Uh, Sam, what's the rent on this old weather-beaten trailer we're looking at? It isn't weather-beaten, Gildy. <laughs> How much, Sam? Thirty dollars a week. Uh, uh, Sam, I'm uh, Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve. Glad to know you. Just passing through? <laughs> he thinks you're a tourist, Gildy. <laughs> All right, Judge. Sam, old man, I'm one of the city commissioners. I'm in charge of water. Business is good, I suppose. Water's pretty much in demand. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> anyway, I guess it isn't every day that you get a chance to rent a trailer to a city official. Hey, eh, Sam? No, it ain't. The last city official I rented a trailer to didn't bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't? He was the city treasurer. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Sam. <laughs> well, what's the price? $30. <laughs> Mr. Horn, I'm Judge Hooker. The trailer isn't really for Commissioner Gildersleeve. Well, it's $30 to judges, too. Um, no, 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 Sam. You don't get the idea. We want to rent this trailer for a young couple to use on their honeymoon. Honeymoon? Yeah, my niece. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? I always get sentimental about honeymoon. I've got him hooked now, Judge. My son's honeymooning right now. He is? Well, fine. <clears throat> How much, Sam? Thirty dollars. He just wired for money. <laughs> You're a hard man, Horn. Did all the jolly boys chip in on the trailer, Unc? Well, I chipped in twice, Leroy. <laughs> But what the heck, it'll be the most appreciated of all the wedding gifts. Gosh, I wouldn't mind taking a honeymoon myself if I could go in a trailer. <laughs> By the time you're ready, Leroy, they'll be honeymooning and flying saucers. <laughs> Where is Marjorie? I can't wait to tell her. She and Lover Boy are in the kitchen. Yeah, I guess Bronco's eating again, huh? Marjorie! We're in the kitchen, Unky. Uh, we're having a sandwich, Mr. Gildersleeve. Yeah, so I notice. I think I'll make a sandwich, too. How about you, Unky? It's almost lunchtime. Thank you, my dear, but I'm too excited to eat. I've got something to tell you. Oh? Remember last night when you were talking about honeymooning in a trailer? Oh, that. Oh, yeah, we junked that idea. Well, I went... <laughs> you did? Well, Unky, I've always dreamed of stopping at nice hotels and sort of living in luxury on my honeymoon. Yeah, that's a life. Luxury. Well, luxury's nice, too, of course. But last night you said yourself that you could visit more places with a trailer. Oh, Marge wouldn't like it, Mr. Gildersleeve. Well, I just happened to stop by Sam Horn's trailer lot this morning. There was one there with a shower and a refrigerator and a beautiful little kitchen. Kitchen? You know, Mr. Gildersleeve, a kitchen is no place for a bride to be on her honeymoon. Well, uh... I said to myself, no bride of mine is going to do housework until we get back to the house. Isn't he wonderful, Uncle? Yeah, adorable. And... <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, kiddies. Oh, oh wait a minute, Mr. Gildersleeve. Uh, what did you want to tell us? Uh, nothing, Bronco. Wait a minute, Uncle. I'll go with you. Careful part of my pickle, Uncle. No, thanks, my boy. I'm in one. <laughs> Don't worry about the trailer, Unc. If they don't want it, I'll use it. You, Leroy? Sure. I'll park it out back and use it for a covered wagon. I can get inside and play on shooting Indians through the windows. Well, I might just play with you. I've just been scalped by an Indian named Sam Horn. <laughs> We'll be back with the great Gildersleeve very soon. When you're shopping tomorrow, take a long look in your grocer's dairy case. A long look at that new cheese package marked Kraft Deluxe Slices. It's such a neat package, you'd think at a glance that it must hold a solid block of cheese. Actually, it holds eight big sandwich-sized slices of cheese. The wonderful new Kraft Deluxe Cheese Slices. Here's fine processed cheese that's cut into generous slices by a marvelous new craft invention. Wrapped eight slices to each neat half-pound package and sealed right in the spick-and-span craft plant. Here are cheese slices that are really clean and sanitary. 
and you can be absolutely sure every crafty Lux cheese slice is perfect. None with dried out edges, no slivers, no broken pieces, but each generous slice is cheese tray perfect. For quick and easy to fix snacks and sandwiches that are really delicious, you can get rich and mellow tasting Kraft Deluxe cheese slices in one of your four favorites, Kraft American, Pimento, Swiss, and Sharp Old English brand. And when you see the neat package in your grocer's dairy case, remember, if it's marked Kraft Deluxe Slices, then that's the amazing package that holds eight perfect, easy-to-separate slices of cheese. Take home a package and see. Once you discover Kraft Deluxe Cheese Slices, you'll never buy pre-cut cheese any other way. Well, let's get back to the great Gildersleeve. He persuaded the Jolly Boys to rent a house trailer as a wedding gift to Marjorie and Bronco for their honeymoon. Then the water commissioner discovered the young couple had other plans. Well, we'll just have to get our money back. For some reason, the Jolly Boys didn't like my idea much anyway. Guess I'm just ahead of my times. Say, what's the trailer doing back at Floyd's barbershop? And there's the judge. And the chief on top of the trailer. And Floyd leading out of the window. Fellas, what's going on? Fellas, stop it. All right, that's long enough. What are you doing with the trailer here? We're working on it. I persuaded Sam to let us take it and fix it up. But we're the dwarfs. Dwarfs? Tidying up the trailer for Snow White and her Prince Charming. Well, that's very nice, Judge, but... Well, why don't you grab a broom, Commissioner? Yeah, I'm sneezy, Floyd is happy, the chief is grumpy, and you can be dopey. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought you fellows didn't like the trailer idea. And I come down and find everybody working except Peavy. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Peavy, what are you doing in the shower? I'm not in the shower. I'm in the medicine chest. What? Peavy is stocking the chest with sundry. Peavy, you shouldn't do that. Well, I'm happy to do it, Mr. Gildersleeve. I brought quite a few items from the pharmacy. Toothpaste, shaving cream, razor blades, band-aids. Yeah, you know how them nervous grooms are when they shave. They need first aid. <laughs> <laughs> how can I tell them the kids don't want the trailer? Uh, we're having a ball, Commissioner. <laughs> I've been thinking about this thing, fellas. Maybe the trailer isn't just the right wedding gift. Are you kidding? Just come inside, Gildy, and see what we've done. Well, I must admit it looks very attractive, Look but... at the little curtains I tacked up. Dotted Swiss. Uh, very nice, Judge. Yes, and I painted the cupboards, Commissioner. Steel gray. Some paint we had left over at the jail. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I polished the mirror. I guess everything's ready for the bride and groom. Fellas, I know how hard you've worked, and I hate to have to tell you this, but... Yes, Gildy? Well... The kids don't want the trailer. What? A fine time to tell us. Yes, Gildy. You were the one who suggested the trailer in the first place. I know, Judge. And Mrs. Peavy called off her whist party to watch the pharmacy. Yeah, I'm sorry, Peavy. What a double-crosser. Floyd. Now, fellas, fellas, let's remember we're all jolly boys. Well... The chief is right. What the heck? Let's forgive and forget. I'm willing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hitch up the trailer, fellas, and take it back mm, Don't look at me, Commish You take it back Huh? I lost enough time from the shop already Well, I should be getting back to the office But, fellas I'll walk with you, Judge It's time to feed the prisoners I think I'll take my sundries and go back to the pharmacy <laughs> I think I'll cry <laughs> trailer. I can just get this thing into Sam's lot without pulling out the back end of the Studebaker. At least I'll get our money back. There's Sam's place. Now I get this thing in the driveway. Phew. Made it. Now if I can find Sam, he'll understand when I explain to him that things just didn't work out. Sam! Hey, Sam! Yeah? Oh, there he is. Good old Sam. What happened, Commissioner? Uh, well, we ran into a little difficulty, Sam. Oh? Yeah, my niece and her groom-to-be changed their minds about the trailer. 
You know how kids are. <laughs> well, too bad. We'll just unhitch it and forget the whole thing. Yeah, we'll just forget the whole thing. There you are. Sorry you can't use it, Commissioner. Well, so are we. Goodbye, Commissioner. Goodbye. Wait a minute, Sam. What about our money? I said I was sorry. Sam, you've got to give us our money back. We returned the trailer. Commissioner, do you give people their money back when they return water? Well, that's uh, that's never happened. Once they take it out of the faucet, I mean... <clears throat> look, Sam, the trailer's in better shape than it was when we took it. We worked on it. Look at there. Dotted Swiss curtains, jail paint. It's an improved trailer. All right, Gildersleeve. I don't want to get in bad with the city officials. I'll give you your money back. Fine. <laughs> I'll only charge you $5 for the day you had it. Zeke. Scalped again. <laughs> well, I don't dare suggest anything else for the jolly boys to give Marjorie. Not after a way I botched this deal. Uh, 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 uh. They're all so down on me now, they probably won't even give the kids a wedding present. Gildersleeve, sometimes you exasperate me. Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Oh, hello, Bertie. Mr. Gildersleeve, you look tired. Yeah, I am, Bertie. Tired of myself. Yes, sir. Sometimes it doesn't pay to carry the ball, Bertie. No, sir. When I found out the Jolly Boys wanted to give the kids a wedding gift, I should have let somebody else make a suggestion. Yes, sir. I shouldn't have opened my big mouth. No, sir. Of <laughs> <laughs> course, I don't know why Miss Marjorie didn't want the trailer. Oh, Bertie, they have a right to plan their own honeymoon. Yes, sir. But if I had a chance to honeymoon in a trailer, I'd take it. Yeah, that's fine, Bertie. In fact, if I had a chance to honeymoon, I'd take it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, at this point, I think I would, too. Hey, Unc, what's this about Bertie taking a honeymoon? Uh, don't worry, Leroy. We're not losing our cook. You'll get your dinner. Gosh, she scared me for a minute. Always thinking of your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> did the Marjorie and Bronco go out? Yeah, they went down to look at the house trailer. Oh, they did? How did they know about it? I told them. Leroy, why did you do that? Well, it's a crying shame the way they let you and the jolly boys down, and I told them. Leroy, you shouldn't have done it. Now they'll feel obligated to take the trailer. Sure. Maybe they'll come back from their trip a day early, and I'll get to use it for a covered wagon. Bang! Bang, bang! Bang, bang, bang! Ooh, I knew there was something behind this. I better get down to Sam. <laughs> Oh, there's Marjorie and Bronco looking in the trailer. Why didn't Leroy keep his big mouth shut? Oh, hello, Unky. Gee, we think the trailer's adorable. Hey, this is swell, Mr. Gildersleeve. Well, that's fine, but kiddies, you don't have to be nice about it. We've already gotten our money back. No, no, Mr. Gildersleeve, we like it. Think of all the food we can store in these cupboards. <laughs> and, Unky, the dotted Swiss curtains are so sweet. Yeah, they were Judge Hooker's idea. He ran them off himself. But let's forget the trailer, huh? No, sir, Mr. Gildersleeve. We got it all figured out. Don't you see, Yankee? We can spend two days at Honeysuckle Lodge. Yeah, and then take off for all the places we want to see. Follow the open road. But, Bronco, you said yourself that you didn't want Marjorie to cook. Well, Bronco has a wonderful idea about that, Unky. Oh? Yeah. We're both going to cook. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for May 10th. Oh, Bronco, you're going to make the best husband. Oh, Marge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that convinced me. <laughs> Better go give Sam his money back. <laughs> and look, Marge, we can get a lot of groceries in this refrigerator. Yeah, groceries, groceries. Sam! Oh, Sam! Uh, you back again, Mr. Gildersleeve? Yeah, in person. <laughs> Sam, we'll rent the trailer after all. <laughs> Here's $30. $30 for that trailer? Huh? That's $40 now, Commissioner. But, but Sam... Well, look at it. Painted cupboards, dotted Swiss curtains, jail paint. <laughs> like you said, it's an improved trailer. 
What a sneaky way to raise rent. <laughs> The Great Gildersleeve will be right back. Stop at your grocer's dairy case tomorrow and look for a package marked Kraft Deluxe Slices. It's a neat package, so neat you'll be amazed to discover it holds eight big sandwich-sized slices of cheese. Fine processed cheese that's cut into perfect slices, wrapped and sealed by Kraft right after the cheese is pasteurized. Protected by Kraft, every delicious slice is clean and sanitary. Kraft Deluxe Cheese Slices give you a really mellow good cheese, a whole half pound of it, in easy-to-separate slices. For grand snacks and sandwiches in a hurry, get the marvelous new Kraft Deluxe Cheese Slices tomorrow. Miss Gillsleeve. Uh, yes, Bertie? Mr. Horn pulled the trailer into the backyard. You want to see it? I've seen it, Bertie. I don't know, though. On second thought, maybe I will have another look at it before the lovebirds fly away with it. <laughs> Come on, Bertie. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, uh. My, that sure is nice. Yeah. We jolly boys did a good job at it, all right. Would you like to look inside? Yes, I would. Yeah. Yeah. Cute in here, all right. All the comforts of home. It sure has a lot of gadgets. I wouldn't know what to do in one of these. Really? Very simple, Bertie. I've only been in it a couple of times, and I know what everything in here is for. You do? Certainly. Simple. Now, that knob is for the heater. That lever opens the window. Well, what's all them little handles in that closet? In here? Well... <clears throat> When you turn this handle, it probably unfolds that bed out there. Now watch. Oh, I'm in the shower. <laughs> you get wet, Mr. Gilfley? Well, did I get wet? Every time I turn around, I get soaked. Well, you're the water commissioner. <laughs> you're so right. Good night, folks. <laughs> The Great Gildersleeve is played by Harold Perry. The show was written by Paul West, John Elliott, and Andy White with music by Jack Meekin. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Mary Lee Robb, Lillian Randolph, Earl Ross, and Vic Legrand. This is Jay Stewart saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of The Great Gildersleeve. Yeah, me too. Good night. Want to put magic in leftover meals? Then have plenty of Kraft prepared mustard on hand. Mustard makes hidden flavors pop right out of leftover meats, adds new life to salad or egg dishes. You can get two kinds of Kraft prepared mustard, you know. Salad mustard, mild, delicately spiced, or Kraft mustard with snappy horseradish added. Have both on hand, for when you add a little mustard, you add a lot of tang. Get Kraft prepared mustard. Mustard.